We're going to now look at some insect pests of pines with Eric Rebeck, Assistant Professor and State Extension Specialist in Turf and Ornamental Entomology. Eric, it's good to have you back on the show again. Yeah, thanks for having me again, Kim. Well, could you tell us about some of the insect pests that we commonly see on pines? Sure. Um, first, I'll talk about wood borer insects. Uh, those are the, the larvae of um, many different kinds of insects, pr primarily beetles, that will get inside the tree and feed internally. Um, and, but first I wanted to contrast by showing you this tree. Um, this damage is what some folks might think is uh, damage caused by wood borers, the adult mm -hmm. beetles um, emerging from the tree. But what we actually see here is sapsucker damage. And this okay. is primarily the kind of calls we'll get at the uh, diagnostic lab on campus. Um, and the way to, or to distinguish the uh, wood borers from the sapsucker damage is that sapsuckers are going to, um, as they're feeding on the sap and maybe some incidental insects that they take once, that, um, once they land on that sap, they're going to leave a ring of, of holes that usually encircle the circumference of the tree. And that, um, that ring will either be horizontal, sometimes you might even see vertical patterns in the, in the outer bark. Mm -hmm. with, uh, with wood borers, um, primarily what we're going to see, if you look over on this tree, mm -hmm. we don't see any particular pattern whatsoever. Um, you'll see a random hole that's, that's um, there, um, here and there, mm -hmm. um, usually about an um, eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch long, depending on the species of beetle that's, uh, that has emerged from the tree. And the main difference is these are more singular or isolated as opposed to in these rows. That's correct. Pattern. That's okay. correct. Um, are there some other insects of concern on pines? Um, in Oklahoma, we primarily don't get too many pine insect problems. We don't get too many calls about them anyway. Mm -hmm. um, we can sometimes get pine needle scale, which is a, um, a little um, uh, sap sucking insect that will take uh, the, the sap out of the needles of the pine. Okay. Um, and in heavy years, heavy infestations, it can lead to um, defoliation of the tree. The, the, the needles will drop on, um, in, in essence. Uh, we can also get um, pine aphids. Okay. Um, we can get pine sawflies here, a couple different species that will defoliate the tree by feeding with um, uh, chewing type mouth parts and uh, completely defoliate those needles. Uh, but we don't, again, we don't get too many calls about those things. Mm -hmm. um, and then the, the last one is Nantucket um, pine tip moth um, that I want to mention today. And that, that can be a significant problem for Christmas tree growers. Um, this is a, it's a, a moth larva that will um, um, infest the, uh, the, the, the growing points of the pines okay. and can lead to deformities um, in the growth pattern of those trees, obviously making them unmarketable for Christmas trees. Okay. Now one of the th uh, things that attracts insects to pines is when they're under stress, is that correct? That, that's correct. Um, the, especially with the native insects that feed on pine, mm -hmm. they tend to key in on trees that are under stress. Uh, usually some kind of an environmental stressor like nutrient stress, uh, water stress. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes if they're not planted in you know, an ideal location, maybe they're planted too close to, together, um, so they're in competition with one another. These things can lead to all around stress that those insects are able to key in on and take advantage of that, that now susceptible tree. Okay. Uh, so what we want to do in the landscape is just make sure that we're watering regularly and fertilizing and monitoring the pH of the soil. Yes, promote the health. Promote the health of that tree. Okay. Well, thank you, Eric. Thanks for having me. Thanks.